Bonjour Mickaël. Bonjour. Euh, Est-ce que pour toi, donc, le, la victoire samedi dernier est, euh, signe le meilleur match de l'année civile donc depuis, euh, depuis la reprise So, um, he's speaking about the game of last weekend, um, maybe as the reference game, the best game since uh, of this year so far, what do you think? Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's probably the best game we played so far uh, in uh, 2022. Um, but uh, in the first half it's, it was difficult, uh, they were a good team, very compact and uh, they come in this uh, this very defensive formation as the other teams and uh, but we managed to to do good in the second half so uh, it was a good game. Donc oui, euh, en effet le, le meilleur match de 2002 pour l'instant avec euh, quand même une première mi-temps très difficile contre une équipe bien équilibrée euh, défensivement et compacte mais après on a vu des bonnes choses en deuxième mi-temps. Est-ce que le TFC a besoin de se rassurer est-ce qu'il y avait des doutes suite à l'élimination face à Versailles et est-ce que justement cette élimination finalement sera sûrement euh, un, un bien pour un bas So did TFC need to reassure themselves after this uh, elimination in the French Cup and uh, will this uh, elimination become something good in, in something negative basically Well I don't know it's difficult to say uh, we always want to win every game and uh, uh, the loss in, in the cup was uh, was very disappointing but um, we have to move forward and uh, I think we proved ourselves uh, through the whole season so uh, it, it won't define the rest of the season but of course it was uh, it was uh, it was a bad loss but uh, I think we moved on and now we just uh, fully focus on the league. Donc difficile à dire, on veut toujours gagner les matchs. Euh, bien sûr, on est déçu pour la coupe, mais maintenant il faut aller de l'avant et se, se refocaliser sur le, le focus principal qui est la Ligue 1, la montée en Ligue 1. Euh, maintenant, il s'agit d'enchaîner, de confirmer, de gagner euh, à Valenciennes donc samedi. Euh, deux victoires d'affilée en championnat, mine de rien, ce n'est pas arrivé depuis le euh, mois de septembre, c'était 8e et 9e journée. So uh, this next game is going to be very important to confirm the, the good result. Uh, two games, one in a row, hasn't happened in a while. Um, how can you explain that? What, what is your intake on that? Well, it's, it's uh, difficult to come up with an explanation. I mean, um, this league is very, it's very tough um, and it's a very equal league. Like um, the the level from from the bottom to the top is is maybe not that the gap is maybe not that big. Um, so every game is very difficult, and every every team we play, they they fight uh, incredible uh, with the with the whole with the whole heart and and uh, and as a unit. So it's difficult for us, but uh, yeah, we need to show that we can we can put two victories together because that's what you need to to get the promotion, and that's what we're going for. C'est difficile à expliquer, euh, mais je commencerai par expliquer que la Ligue en soi est difficile avec un niveau très élevé, euh, affiché par toutes les équipes, une envie de, de se donner à fond. Euh, mais il faut créer donc cette euh, deuxième victoire pour engendrer une série. Et c'est ça qui va nous aider à monter en Ligue 1. Alors justement, finalement, les, les séries, il n'y en a plus de, de, depuis donc, euh, septembre et ça coïncide avec leur première défaite de la saison ici face à Caen. Euh, Est-ce que tu penses qu'il qu qu y a eu une petite cassure quand même ce, ce jour-là So there hasn't been a, a win of, of series, basically a series, uh, in a while. Um, how, how do you, again, how do you explain that? How, that's how he, he's... Uh, uh, yeah, how do I explain that? Um, well, Uh, we draw too much. Um, that's that's uh, the main part of the explanation, I think. Um, and uh, why we draw is difficult to to come up with an explanation for that. But uh, I think, uh, as I said before, uh, 
uh, every time every time we play against uh, another t- another team in this league, uh, uh, they fight with everything they got. Uh, they come and they play very very defensive and compact, and and the draw for them is is feels like maybe a victory for them. Um, and uh, therefore it's very difficult for us to to create enough chances to win the games uh, but it's about being clinical both offensively and uh, defensively and uh, the more we do that uh, um, the more series of victories we will we will get Go, encore une fois chaque équipe est, est forte euh, j'assiste sur le sur le niveau de, de la ligue en entier en entière euh, ils sont prêts ils viennent euh, euh, avec une défense compacte, avec peut-être pour objectif de faire des nuls. Euh, pour eux, c'est peut-être une victoire euh, contre Toulouse. Mais euh, comme il dit, il faut, que, il faut se concentrer sur chaque match et devenir euh, tueur euh, défensivement et offensivement pour, euh, pour remporter les trois points et créer des, des séries. Et justement, par rapport au niveau, est-ce qu'il est surpris du niveau de la Ligue 2 Il s'attendait à ce genre de niveau ou pas du tout Were you, are you surprised with the level of, of League 2 or like were you... Did you were you expecting that, or are you are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. I I know that this is a very very good level, and I know that this is a very tough league. Uh, it's very uh, physical, and uh, the teams are are very strong. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so no 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 surprise at all actually. Non, pas surpris du tout. Je je savais pour le niveau et pour la ligue. Euh, les gens sont. C'est une ligue très euh, costaud aussi physiquement. Donc euh, non, pas surpris du tout. Il a deux passes décisives, hein, je crois, puisque la salle à Dijon n'avait pas été euh, comptabilisée. Est-ce que, Michael, tu te fixes un objectif de passe et quel est ton record déjà sur, sur une saison euh, au championnat So, he noticed you have two assists. Um, is there like a, a goal of assist, a certain amount of, of assists that you're reaching Four and uh, what is your record of assists per se- like your best season? Oh, I don't know my record, but um, um, my goal is to get as many as I can, and I want to contribute uh, offensively uh, uh, with with assists and and also maybe uh, the last uh, uh, the th- the third last pass. Uh, but but it's difficult. I mean. Um, Uh, yeah, to, to, to assist, as you said, it's not good enough uh, for 23 games. Uh, I, I don't think it's good enough, but uh, I need to improve in that area and uh, hopefully there will, there will come more. But uh, it's all about just keep going and, and, and then the series of assists maybe will come too. Uh, pour le record, uh, je ne sais pas. Par contre, uh, en tant qu'objectif, oui, j'aimerais um, aider le plus possible l'équipe, contribuer offensivement. Euh, pas que la, la dernière passe, mais aussi l'avant-dernière passe. Euh, deux passes décisives, je suis conscient que ce n'est pas assez bon. Euh, j'ai quelque chose où je veux progresser. C'est quelque chose que je, où je veux progresser. Euh, peut-être qu'en continuant comme ça, je vais essayer de créer une série aussi sur les passes décisives. Au niveau, au niveau des buts, maintenant, bon, il, il en a marqué un cette saison. Il est assez joli. Tu à Dunkerque. Mais il tente régulièrement, il a encore tenté samedi. Euh, est-ce que c'est bon signe justement pour un latéral de, de se retrouver aux, aux avant-postes Est-ce que ça dénote aussi du, du style offensif de l'équipe de Philippe Montagne So now for the goals, uh, you have one goal this year, which was a nice shot, um, and he notices that per game you also have chances, you create chances. Is it a good sign um, for a right back to be in those situations? Um, is it the, the system that um, Coach Montagnier offers? Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, a bit of, uh, it, it's a bit of both. Um, of course, uh, the playing style we have here is, uh, is very offensive and, um, and um, also we have, uh, we have players who, who, who are able to dominate the game uh, with the ball and uh, when you dominate the game with the ball you always uh, uh, have a bigger chance to to create uh, something uh, some chances uh, offensively and that also uh, uh, count for for the defensive players uh, as well um, so yeah i've been put in some good uh, situation uh, the last couple of games and 
uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, I need to take more advantage of that maybe. And uh, uh, but uh, as I said before, it's all about just keep going and believe, and and the series will will probably come. <coughs> oui, donc c'est un peu des deux. Le style du, de jeu proposé par euh, le coach Montagnier est très offensif. On a des joueurs aussi qui dominent le match avec le ballon, ce qui aide euh, défensivement et qui permet aux joueurs défensifs de participer plus offensivement, euh, créer des chances. Donc. Euh, mais je suis conscient, je dois devenir plus euh, tueur. Euh, lorsque j'ai des chances, il faut, que, il, faut, il faut les mettre au fond aussi. Est-ce qu'il y a un joueur qui a impressionné Mickaël que ce soit voilà. Ou un adversaire, un joueur qui a retenu l'attention de, de Mikel. Um, he's asking, is there a player at, in practice or in, during the games that, that stood out, that impressed you more than, <laughs> than someone? Oh, that's a tricky, tricky question. <laughs> um, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, I think um, for the moment the, the whole squad is, is, is training very well. Everybody is super focused and. Uh, Uh, the only ob um, objective we have is uh, is to win as many games and get the promotion and uh, uh, yeah that's all that's all that's all it is. Mm, C'est une question difficile. Uh, donc l'équipe en fait elle est focus sur uh, l'unique objectif, c'est-à-dire la montée. Le reste uh, c'est pas très bon. Voilà. <laughs> Euh, Michael, tu parais un, assez infatigable dans ton couloir, donc euh, en dehors du, du vélo, quel est ton secret <laughs> You seem like you never get tired in, in your, on your side. Uh, what is your secret uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have a secret. Uh, I mean, it's, it's all about taking care of your body, um, get the, the right nutrition and uh, get a good sleep so you recover well because... Uh, If you don't recover well, you will, you will have a problem uh, maintaining the, the high level in the games. And uh, the games, uh, they are coming and there are many of them. So uh, it's all about being ready for that. Je traduis vite fait. <laughs> pas, pas de secret, je prends soin de mon corps, je mange bien, je dors bien. Ce qui m'aide à enchaîner les bonnes perfs. Mais voilà, pas, pas de secret en particulier. Do you, do you sleep afternoon in the afternoon, for example? No, never. No, pas de sieste. Uh, la sélection, est-ce qu'il y pense? Um, Il a été sélectionné dans toutes les catégories de jeunes, si je ne m'abuse. Mm -hmm. So since you've been in, in all the categories of uh, youth national team, if he's not wrong, uh, are you thinking of the A team? Is it something realistic for you? The, the, Na the main national team, the A team? Yeah, no, no. No, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, uh, that's not in my mind at all. To be honest, uh, the level of the national team in Denmark is is very very high, and uh, for the moment, uh, uh, it's not in my thoughts. So uh, yeah. Donc non, je n'y pense pas du tout. Le niveau de l'équipe nationale est très très élevé. C'est pas quelque chose que j'ai encore dans mes pensées. Petite dernière, voilà spécial. Last question. Euh, de qui s'inspire-t-il? Qui This is, this is his favorite question he asks every time. It's um, who is your, your favorite um, right back of this moment, of the moment now, and from back in the day? Uh, hmm. Well, at the moment, uh, I think uh, you have uh, two uh, right fullbacks that uh, it's impossible not to mention. Uh, it's uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, of course. He's a assist machine, <laughs> uh, and uh, then you have uh, Hakimi, uh, who is, uh, yeah, also just an amazing player. He has so many qualities, uh, both defensively but especially offensively. Uh, so for the moment, it will be those two players. Mm -hmm. For back in the days, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, actually, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Donc en ce moment, il y en a deux. Euh, quand on pense à rien droit, il faut penser forcément à Trent Alexander-Arnold qui est le, la machine à, à passe décisive. Mais j'aime aussi Hakimi qui est très fort euh, et défensivement et offensivement surtout. Euh, pour ce qui en est des joueurs, des anciens arrière droits, euh, il ne sait pas du tout.